Well, we've got two greats of the game playing in the Grand Prix final here in Coventry today. But when you talk about the all-time greats of WDBS, World Disability Billiards and Snooker, this is the man, Daniel Blunt. 12-time winner, an absolute record on the WDBS Tour. Daniel, great to see you back playing nice. again. And you, uh, we had the tournament in Stockport recently, which you won. It must have been great to uh, get back on the winning trail on your comeback. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it was a long time in terms of competitive action, being out from like the Belgium Open in 2020. Then, you know, we have we had all what we had in the world. Obviously, it was quite it was quite a long time between tournaments. So. When I got back, to get back on the winning trail straight away it was very good, you know, it was, I was pleased to get back on my streak, you know, so let's go and keep that going. And you won that tournament, losing only two frames, how did you feel your game, your game was, how did you perform? I thought it was in good shape, if I'm being perfectly honest, I mean, as the players I was playing, uh, I should think across the tournament, if you look at the whole tour as a whole, there's probably players that have practised and players that haven't practised so much, you know, due to the circumstances, but... The players I play, well, they're, they, were, you know, they were certainly playing, playing well, you know, not showing any signs of rustiness. So I think, I think really, everybody's carried on from where they left off. Um, some have even improved, so I should, I should imagine. So let's, let's see what happens in the future. Um, do, you, do you feel in a good place with your game at the moment? Do you feel you've still got room to improve? Oh, I've always got room to improve, I'll tell you that now. Um, so... I would say I'm in a good place with my game. My game's, my game's in reasonable shape. Um, it's about channeling it, ready for the WDBS competitions, because that's when I want to hit peak form, if you like. Sure. That's when it's full. Um, and, and even though we don't have any more events on the horizon, we're not quite sure what's going to happen over the next few months, of course, but you're still playing regularly in the, in the league in the, at the um, Ivanhoe Club in Aspie de la Zouche. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's a nice club. The table has just been re -cloughed. Actually, so they go. They're certainly still putting putting them all into the snooker side of the club. Um, the league's still in a good place, uh, so let's hope it can continue. Um, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen in the more recent, in the more near future. With obviously what's going on in the world, crazy. But you know, but um, let's hope everybody's safe and let's hope the snooker can carry on as much as it can. But of course, people's health got to come first, hasn't it? Sure, yeah. It's, it's great to hear that that club's doing well, and actually a lot of the clubs seem to be thriving despite the despite the challenges. And of course, one of Snooker's great strengths is the inclusivity, the fact that anybody can play regardless of ability and gender, nationality, everything else. So on the participation side, actually it seems like Snooker's in a much stronger place than it was maybe five years ago. Absolutely, absolutely it is. I mean, anyone can play. I mean, when you've seen some of, some, of the, some, of the, some of the professionals on the TV now, some of them playing as they are, some of the top players, the brand of snooker they may be playing, it's maybe attracting, it's maybe attracting a younger audience. Um, but in terms of snooker, in the last few years, the game's progress, progressing like anything. Um, maybe because maybe some people now haven't been, haven't been playing so much, obviously with the lockdowns and everything, so that's made people realise you know, that they enjoy the game and maybe they're playing a bit more as well. Maybe the clubs, maybe the clubs are getting a bit of a lift from that as well. You know, yeah. it just, just depends how they feel, doesn't it? Yeah, absolutely. It's great to see. Now, of course, on the table, uh, we've got two of the all-time greats today, Ronnie and Neil Robertson. Uh, I know you've been watching it quite a bit throughout the week. Who do you fancy to win the final? Do you know what? Most people are tipping Robertson, and that might well be the case. I expect the bookies are predicting Robertson, I'd imagine. I've got a sneak suspicion about Ronnie today. And I'll tell you for why because he's, he's not peaked yet, should we say, all week. And I think today he's due to win one. He's got it in his locker still. So I think he might, he might, I think he might turn the tables today. Yeah, interesting. Absolutely. Yeah, interesting prediction. Do you, do you um, when you watch a lot of snooker on TV, do you, do you try to learn from the top players? Do you pick up little tips from them? If I can, if I can, if I can see things on the table that they're doing which I could implement in my game or I see a particular shot they're playing and they've played it in a slightly better way to how I'd have played it or in, I certainly take that in if I can. Um, the likes of the likes of Stephen Hendry, you know, great, great, great builder he is. Hopefully you can you can hear him talking about getting the black into play, open the pack, etc. So I think that's the modern way to modern day way to play and in great building that's what I try to do. Um, try that sort of model because that's the way the game's going and 
it's the way to progress against because I mean the, the, the standards are getting higher everywhere. So, do, do you have a favourite player? I know you, you played a bit with Dave Gilbert in the past. Yeah, I know. I know Dave. Um, in terms, in terms of, in terms of, in terms of playing, um, do I have, do I have a favourite player? In terms of players, or players I like watching. Um, obviously, Dave, um, Hendry. Still, I still think he's got plenty to offer on the tour. Um, I like watch. I also, I also like watching, obviously, Ronnie. Um, now, a couple of different, a couple of different ways of playing. I like Selby. For his, for his match play, you can learn a bit of him. And I also know, I also know a guy on the tour called Mitchell Mann. He's doing, he's, do, he's doing well on the tour yeah. now, a lot better than he than he was. So, yeah. so like I say, it's it's good to see him doing well. So let's. So he, there's lots of good players to watch, really. If there's a game of snooker on and I'm about, I'll tend to watch it. So. <laughs> well, we can't wait for the final today. I'm sure you'll be glued to it as well. Great to see you here today, Daniel. No Congratulations problem. on your winning stop four. Thank you very much. And we look forward to seeing you winning many more tournaments in the future. Well done. Absolutely. Let's hope we can keep it going.